What's up Jadis? It's Victoria James and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and click that red subscriber button so it turns gray and then you become a Jbay. Jbays are my subscribers and we tune in whenever I upload to chit chat and all that about luxury beauty. I am working on a series. This particular episode is going to be about powders. I have one drawer um, filled to the brim <laughs> and so we are going to go through my powder collection and just pare it down you know get rid of what we don't need I've already done a highlighter and blush uh, episode two different episodes and I actually emptied a full drawer like I have an empty drawer now so I'm very proud of myself we're about to <laughs> um, continue to condense everything and have a lot of fun this is all just you know me being brutally honest about you know amassing a collection and being honest with myself about you know what do I want what do I not want what am I actually going to use um, I know as an influencer a lot of times we keep things for reference but most of the stuff I'm getting rid of I'm getting rid of because a it's very old b it's no longer available or c it doesn't work for me so I think those are all very valid reasons to get rid of things. And so I probably won't defer to them as a reference. Without further ado, y'all, let's jump right into this thing. This is my box, or my drawer rather, of my powders. I have one finishing powder that is so pretty that I let leave it sitting out. So we'll start with this one. This is Guerlain Meteorites. And this is number four, Golden. This is the aluminum tin it comes in. It comes with a sponge puff. Oh, <laughs> hey, all right. It smells so good. And these are the beautiful pearls that come inside. They're just always different colors. I always end up dropping some different colors um, based on, you know, meteorites are really popular with Guerlain. They have it in their skincare as well as their makeup. And this one has like really pretty brown pearls um, with gold in them. It has these very pretty uh, pink ones and some other colors like a light a lighter brown um it smells so good <laughs> it smells so good it's so distracting and pretty much this is what you get when you swirl it around that color um I use a very light powder brush and swirl it around my face to finish off my face it is a finishing powder you guys it's not a blush it's not a highlighter it's a finishing powder it's meant to blend everything together that you have on your face after you finish your makeup and leave your skin looking smooth and polished and beautiful and leave you smelling like I believe that's lavender or violets it smells incredible I am losing sunlight it's currently overcast but we're gonna this is my third video that I'm filming in the same day I'm trying to hurry up and finish as many as I can because uh, I don't get a lot of time to myself and I want to make sure that I am filming for y'all so um I'm gonna start with something that is fairly new to me and has completely blown my mind it is from Uma Beauty and it is the Hydroblast finishing powder in the shade brown sugar I I never thought that you could make something that is powder feel like liquid on your face. I, I, did we even ask? I don't know, but I'm glad they did it <laughs> because this feels absolutely incredible. It, man, okay, let me show you what it looks like. It looks like a regular loose powder, y'all. A regular loose powder with a standard sifter. This shade is really perfect for all over my face. And I just put some into the cap give it a swirl with my brush you know a tap to get rid of the excess and you go to buff over your face and it is a cooling wet sensation and you're like huh <laughs> what is this and it does um lightly mattify your skin um as you buff it in it just smooths everything out it makes you look great it it holds your makeup like it, it helps your makeup last this is fantastic I could totally see grabbing a lighter shade just to use under my eyes for a nice cooling effect if I'm feeling a little puffy or something. This is a great, great powder. Uma Beauty. Y'all. Y'all did that. This is a finishing powder. I and Let me correct myself because I said I think I said setting powder. This is a finishing powder. So yeah, buffing it all over your face. Give yourself that filtered effect. At the end of your makeup application, having that like... Whew, 
of of hydration and and coolness god it feels spot like it's so great and i know i'm not like really i'm not trying to sell you on it i'm just letting you know why i'm keeping it it's it's fantastic i love this stuff next is the hourglass ambient lighting volume 3 palette i really love this it is absolutely beautiful and it's got i will say this i don't think there's anything for under your eyes in here I used it under my eyes in my video talking about this palette when it first came out. I wouldn't use that under my eyes. It's not a setting powder. Like it's not it's not doing anything under your eyes. So I wouldn't use it that way, but I would absolutely use all of these for the rest of my face. They're stunning. I love it. And the shades are perfect. Next is a really interesting powder, y'all. This is again from the Lotus Collection. And this one is um, the Chantecaille Lotus Collection. It's the Perfect Blur Glow Powder, not to be confused with Chantecaille's Perfect Blur Powder, right? Um, I have from the Flower Power Collection, I have the medium shade, and that's the shade for me. They have a, a original shade that was considered translucent and anybody can wear it. I can't remember if I did or not. I think I was introduced to it when the medium deep came out. But then they came out with this one. And y'all see the difference there? You could totally see it, the glow. This is a mattifying um, filtering effect on your face. I really love this. This one does that, but it has a little bit of glow. See? So I like to use this to brighten under my eyes and it does a great job because it has that, um, that glow to it. It helps bounce light off of these like more sallow, or I'm sorry, more, um, sunken areas of my eyes and sort of move it forward i think this this is such a great product for that i'm also keeping my hermes powder it's called the plain air um sh in the shade nuage which is just a translucent powder it looks white doesn't it it's not it is truly truly translucent it does not show up at all and I'm so impressed by that, that I keep it. <laughs> Cause I'm just like, I haven't, I haven't come across that like ever. <laughs> so I think they did a fabulous job. Just lightly set your face when you're using your planer um, complexion products. It works out great. Another one that's staying, okay, is R, sorry, my Prism Libre um, loose powders from Givenchy. They are highly, uh, praised for a reason if you've never tried these you are I highly encourage you to try them I'm not gonna tell you like you're missing out on life or whatever I mean it's not that deep it's just makeup but these are fantastic and I have two because I wanted to try a lighter one and I had the opportunity to try it without buying it so I did but um this is Poplin Mimosa number five and the shades are kind of like uh golden peachy and then this one here is for deeper complexions it is the um flanel espice god help me number six and um this one is the darkest i believe and it does have like you know a brown here it has a lighter brown there it has a pink um and kind of like a yellow you know what i'm saying like orange this it's very correcting it's very correcting. So if you have an area on your face that is showing through a little um, brown, I'm sorry, not brown, gray, showing through a little gray, dust your powder over. It helps to correct without putting color corrector on. Really, really cool. Um, and I believe they all do that. Um, all the colors from the lightest to the deepest, they all have that element in here. You can customize it because the sifters are separated. I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you. It does come with a puff, but the sifters are separated. So you can hold your finger over the ones you don't want, tap out what you do want, or you can just put them all in your in there. And I know Makeup Forever came out with something along this these lines, but you can't separate them. Um, so I still feel like Givenchy has the edge in that regard. So I would definitely say try them if you haven't tried them, but these are staying with me. I absolutely love these powders. And they are very finely milled and they do give a great appearance to your skin these are setting powders not finishing powders just so you know another powder that is actually giving um it, that doesn't give you matte which i think is really cool i like having different things in my collection for different purposes right 
and so these say air set radiant loose setting powders i have translucent deep and translucent medium because why not <laughs> why not have both um and so you can set your face without adding m like more mattification to your face so for example if you're using a soft matte or a matte found uh foundation and you want to set it but you don't want to look dry right you don't want to look super matte you can use one of these to both set your face but still give your face some life and they do a great job it's very very soft it's beautiful it doesn't like i have never had an experience where this was patchy um they're really fantastic and you can actually close the sifter i like these better when you can close the sifter next up is from one size by patrick star and this is the turn up the base foundation powder this one is in dark neutral five and i just feel like it's a touch dark it's actually pretty old too so i'm gonna get rid of it but i feel like the shade is just a little too dark like by the time i go to blend it in i feel like it starts to oxidize so i'm gonna let this go the first one to bite the dust from the powder section um next up is going to be from dior this is the powder no powder in five neutral this is my foundation shade so i am going to keep this i really love this especially with the um the face and body line it works so beautifully with that i have these finishing powders from lys they're called the triple fix translucent setting powder i have loyalty which is dark deep and i have independent which is tan this is one of the newer shades that they have because they came out with like an extension man we just got to talk real quick about this um this is one of the best undertones of a lighter un light a lighter powder that i've come across in a long time and especially if you're going to be using it like under your eyes i happen to be a neutral undertoned person um, when I'm looking for my foundations, I do look for neutral as the undertone. And I am I, I often have some difficulty when it comes to the powders, not necessarily concealers, but the powders finding a neutral powder. This is it. This is it. And it actually does like smooth when you apply it. Um, the color is so on point. Like I'm very, very into this. I, for the longest time, had to compromise between like rosy or golden. I had to pick one or had to buy two concealers you know what I mean so the fact that I can now acquire a neutral concealer yay and then I can go in with a neutral powder and keep it consistent with my skin tone and blend everything together and it looks freaking amazing like this is a heaven sent shade and I just personally want to thank LYS for creating it it's fantastic again independent uh, the tan shade this one I've had since the brand launched so I think it's time for me to buy a new one because as you can see it has that like you know science project shit in it so I'm just gonna let it go <laughs> I'll let this one go and get another one I really like this powder it's a great formula next is something that is staying and this is the Westman Atelier Vital Pressed um, skin care powder this is in cafe definitely want another shade they have something similar to Westman Atelier in this line and i want to say this is cafe so i think it's called oh gosh i can't remember i'll put it on the screen because i'll look it up like when i'm editing but um there's another shade that is kind of similar to that lys color that i want to get in this as well so love this powder it's so like it's compact enough to travel with which i really like and this component is very weighty so you don't have to worry about it opening in your bag or whatever um and it has a great mirror <laughs> you know but yeah like touching up and stuff what i like about this is the same thing that i like about the say powder which is that it does not make you look matte it does mattify it's a soft matte powder but it doesn't leave you looking dry so when you go to touch up you know blot and blot and all that and then put your powder on to you know kind of get you together it, it does such a good job of that you guys and you still look like you know you still look fresh you still look like non-matte <laughs> i think i'm talking too much at this point of course i mean it's a staple for a reason it's the airbrush flawless setting powder as you can see i'm almost out definitely gonna re-up but until i am done it is staying in the collection i have the um smashbox halo and this powder is in dark neutral which is my shade in the halo line what's cool about this y'all is that you twist it to get yourself some fresh powder so it's always fresh 
I feel like this is such a good way to keep your powder. <laughs> I love the way it looks. I have used it. I enjoy it. Um, I've used it a couple of times. I don't feel like I consciously reach for it. Like, ooh, I need that halo, you know? But I think that if I'm able to get rid of some other powders, that there will be an opportunity for me to use this. So I am going to hold on to it. Chanel. This is my um, Universal Libre Natural Finish Loose Powder in shade 121. Yeah, I feel like this is still my color. And I really like this powder. And this is the older formula. So I'm gonna hold on to it for a little longer. <laughs> I know they reformulated this powder and some people don't think it's as good as the old one. So I'm gonna hold on to it for a little bit more. On to something that I'm gonna let go of. Pat McGrath Loose Powders. They are just too heavy. They really are. I have deep four, or sorry, medium deep four and medium three. And I don't, I don't use either one. So yeah, those are gonna go. The By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder in medium dark 500. This is a great powder, but I do feel like the Hydra Blast is better. Yeah, I'm gonna let this go. I don't need this child. I got my Hydro Blast, girl. And I'm gonna get rid of this too. This is actually um, the By Terry Densilis Compact in 8 Warm Sienna. And I believe this is a similar setting powder to the, to the Westman Atelier. It does absolutely nothing. This thing does nothing. It's okay. It's an okay powder, but it does nothing to set. <laughs> I don't know what this is supposed to do. <laughs> it just looks pretty, but it doesn't do anything. So I'm gonna knock that out of here too. That can, that can live over there. The next item is the translucent setting powder from Laura Mercier in Medium Deep. I got a large for a reason, honey. It's staying. The next item is from Shantakai. This is the HD Perfecting Loose Powder for a Face. And this is in the shade Candlelight. This is meant to be, like they said, a um, finishing powder. Really cool concept here. Shake, shake, shake. Buff. And then, yeah, it definitely has like super fine micro glitter. It's meant to, you know, finish your face much in the way that the Guerlain Meteorites do. And it's fine, but again, it's not something that I reach for necessarily. I like it when I do reach for it. Like I'm touching my skin and it feels nice and soft and that sheen is really beautiful. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Cause it's, it's a great powder. It's, it's a really great finishing powder. So I don't know. We're going to, we're going to put that aside. The makeup forever. HD setting powder and I have Sienna number five it comes with the cute little puff that goes in the sleeve and all of the things this is fantastic this is fan bloody tastic <laughs> this powder is so good <laughs> it gives the same like obviously when I used it I use it with the makeup forever powder right I mean I'm sorry foundation but you can use this with anything and it makes it look great. <laughs> so yeah, she's staying as well. Absolutely live. Now, one that I am willing to say goodbye to is this one. The Dior Forever Cushion Powder. It's just a powder in a cushion. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but like, duh Victoria, it's just a cushion. But like, it's gimmicky. I have to be honest with myself. It's just a loose powder in a cushion, y'all. It's just a different sifter. You know what I'm saying? It's bulky. It's just okay. Like the actual powder itself, it's not revolutionary. The packaging is just cute. So I'm gonna be honest with myself, <laughs> you guys, and say it was fun. Shout out to everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna let it go. I just have to let it go, man. Wow, that one was difficult. It really was, because it is so cute. It's like cushiony, you know, but it's just a basic powder. 
It really is. It's a not a bad powder, but it's not an amazing powder. And, you know, taking up a lot of space for that kind of reaction, you know? This is from Fenty Beauty. This is the um, Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in Cashew. This is another one of those scenarios where I'm like, don't come across a lot of neutral powders for all over the face. She's staying. So good. So good. And that also brings me to these girls. Now, Honey and Banana. I can live without these. I don't use these. I barely use these. So they, they can go. I won't miss them. <laughs> like, I really won't. Um, but I, I will keep these, Laura Mercier Original and Medium Deep Travel Size, because if I travel, it, it's, it's a trusty, it's a trusty formula. And it's one that won't take up a lot of space. So I will be keeping these. The um, Pat McGrath Blurring Under Eye Powder. I am going to keep the medium and I am going to get rid of the deep. The reason that I'm going to get rid of the deep is because I don't use the deep. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. I only use it when, I, when I'm like, let me use that. I haven't used it in a while, you know? But I don't really use this. It looks like I don't use it. So I'm going to let this one go because I have so many fantastic powders for all over the face that I don't need the deep. I've already like repurchased the medium twice. So this is the one. This is the one I'm always using. This is the only one I'm going to keep. Then I have the Gucci setting powders. I have 11 and I have eight. These are nice, y'all. They're just okay. These are honestly just okay for me. Um, as far as like, they're just good. They're not great. I don't know that I need to get rid of them. You know, because I, I did like them when I was using them like pretty heavy. This one has a little bit of hard pan. Yeah, it, it just has a really nice, has a nice finish to it. But they did both get hard pan on me and I think I'm just going to let them go. Golly, are you serious, Victoria? <laughs> are you, who are you talking to? Like, Victoria, hold on. Let me have a conversation with myself. <laughs> No, seriously, like I've gotten my use out of these, you guys. Um, they are hard panned and I'm not, you know, I have so many other nice powders that do what I need them to do. So I am going to just let them go. And that's it. That's, that's the video. That's, we're letting go of quite a bit. That leaves an opportunity for more powders. So I'm going to say that I've done a really, really good job this video. <laughs> I feel like this is the best one so far where I've gotten rid of almost half. So let's just recap real quick. We're getting rid of these Gucci powders. I'm getting rid of these uh, Fenty Beauty travel size um, under eye powders from for my skin tone, honey and banana. Get rid of those. Um, letting go of this LYS because it's old and hard pan. Letting go of rid of this. Letting go of this because it oxidizes and is too dark on me. Um, letting go of this uh, from Pat McGrath because I don't need the deep. Um, letting go of this Dior Forever because it's just a basic powder in a gimmicky packaging. The by Terry's because I have better. I have better versions of these things in other brands. The Pat McGrath because it's too heavy. These loose powders. Um, for my needs too heavy for my needs and yeah I think that's yeah that's it that's what we're getting rid of this finishing powder this candlelight um, finishing powder I'm gonna let this go because I really don't reach for it and I have my Guerlain meteorites and I have another finishing powder sitting in here somewhere that hydroblast so I think that's fine that's enough I'm gonna let this go okay so wow I am so, ooh, wait a minute, oh my goodness. This, <laughs> this is from Carolina Herrera. This is another like um, setting powder. And it actually does impart a little bit of color. I love this, she pretty. Like the actual product as well as the component are beautiful and so she stays. That is going to do it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This was kind of a wild ride for me. Um, but yeah. Yeah, man. I just got rid of two Gucci powders. <laughs> 
this was hard. Um, let's chit chat and all that in the comment section, y'all. I feel like this one is going to be an interesting conversation. And um, tell me what other powders I should try. I'm, I'm clearly in the market for it. So <laughs> let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please do click that red subscriber button so it turns gray and become a J -bay. Come on back for more of this series and I will see you next time. Mwah.